The nature of our labor shortage today is completely without precedent. We have roughly 10 million job openings and 6 million job seekers. The magnitude of that mismatch and our labor shortage means there's no single solution. This is an all hands on deck challenge for the American economy and particularly the manufacturing sector. So a lot of manufacturers, a lot of companies in general are struggling with labor shortage. One way to address that is through adoption of new technologies such as robotics and automation. And oftentimes they use automation and robotics as an opportunity to attract more talent because instead of an operator loading and unloading in one machine, now they can oversee a process of five or six machines. So 10 years ago, I started working for my family's business, the Bazaar Incorporated. And what I saw was we had turnover rate all the time. We could not keep people engaged and invested in working in the front line at the store. We started to talk with community new organizations that were focused on helping people with disabilities get job opportunities. So what we realized after 10 years of employing people with disabilities, having a ton of success, lowering our turnover rate, was that a lot of the approach we were using also fit perfectly into helping returning citizens and second chance employees come into our workforce as well. One of the reasons we at Fifth Third have highlighted the opportunities for second chance hiring, employing people with criminal records, is simply because this pool is so large and so overlooked. It's not to say that every one of the 19 million people in America with a felony conviction is going to be a good employee, but from a pool that large, if you know how to source, you know how to support appropriately, you can get an extremely effective workforce. Every single study points in that direction. The labor shortage is most definitely impacting supply chain operations and companies across various industries are having, having trouble attracting and retaining enough people to run their operations. So the companies that are going to thrive in the future are the ones that can really implement an all of the above strategy to attracting and retaining people. It's the second chance hiring, it's the robotics, it's the disabled population, it's the people that are on the sidelines right now for whatever reason. And understanding, based on where they're at in their career, their age and stage, what's important to them? What do they need to be successful? If they feel valued, they're not going to leave.